What up, guys? A Rods RC here, uh, chilling in the shop. Recently, I uh, took a trip out to a lake with some family and friends. Took some trucks. You know, figured it'd be cool. Let some people check them out. Try to shout out the channel, get some views, some subs. Anyways, <clears throat> I busted them out. Let some people try them out. Whatever. Um, got back home and uh, I was unloading stuff, getting, you know, cleaning stuff up, getting all the sand off as best I could. I still haven't done a deep clean on the rigs, but, uh, one thing I noticed was, uh, see here, boom, Gandhi's. So I'm, I'm thinking the pin that holds this in place and the spring, uh, this gone <clears throat> so I'm not quite sure how that happened uh, but it did it sucks but anyways I do got some backup shocks that I did get for the cross RC hobby plus CR24 I got those with the upgrade kit for that I'm glad I did have an extra backup pair of shocks these are going to be an upgrade for the element. These are aluminum. Um, that it's just not plastic, I guess, is what the upgrade is. Looks a little cooler. Uh, like, I'm not sure on the performance on on how this is going to help it, but uh, we got to put them on because we got to be able to run the truck. So let's do that. Here's the shocks. Let's see if we can. There, I'm gonna install. They're decent. I mean, they're not too firm, not too loose. I think that should be all right. So, uh, let's get her going. We just snap that on there. That's how you get that on there. I'm assuming you just snap it on. And that's, that's on there. Not really going anywhere, so. Screw the top part back in. I thought I was recording, but I guess I wasn't. So we'll just jump back right in where I was. Well, I thought I was finished. Or recording, sorry. I think these have a little less travel than the stock. I could I could be wrong. Try and hold that straight. Hmm. I think, let's see. Oh, hey. They're definitely more stiff than stock. I'm not sure how that's gonna affect performance. Uh, only one way to find out though, right? Maybe it'll finally make it up my uh, desert hill. 
I don't know if shocks make a difference in that, but in in uh, climbing. <coughs> All right, let's get the rest of them done, and then uh, we'll see how she looks. All right, so I got the other rear shock off. Before I put the other one on, I wanted to kind of be up close and personal of what the what they look like. They're both the same length is what it looks like. Uh, these might be a little more loose than the stock. Uh, they are, you know, definitely look cooler, aluminum. Um, what I did with the other side, where is it? So, I moved it from the center up one to kind of give it just a little bit of an angle. Uh, I've seen some people do that with their SCX 24s. So I figured while I'm installing these uh, new shocks on here, that I would give that a go on here, and maybe that would, you know. Just give it a little bit extra improvement. See where that goes with that. So let's it's always a good idea to kind of get in there and clean up a little bit when you're taking little parts off and you're getting into cracks and crevices. These tend to pick up hair for Whatever it is you're driving on, any little piece of lint will get caught up in here. So, give it a quick little brush. Places that are usually covered when you're taking parts off is just a good opportunity to get in there and get little any. I was just at the beach, so I'm definitely trying to get the sand out of there. No, I am considering swapping this out, making this a deep dish. Give it a little more width. That would be pretty cool. Um, but for now, we're doing the shocks. So once again, let's snap that bad boy into place. There we go. Let me get our screwdriver here. And we're gonna go up one hole. Just kinda give it a little more help. Uh oh. Struggle is real. Once you get it started, getting it started is the main thing. Then we're good. There we go. Don't want to get too tight. Don't want to strip it. Just make sure it's in there good. And now. back here doesn't want to seem to go anywhere at all actually what's going on here if they were locked maybe I'm too tight somewhere or maybe it's because I have them not straight I wonder if that's making a difference they're not wanting to move at all let's see let's see if I loosen this up here there we go. Yeah, I had it too tight. I didn't know that that was a thing. Maybe, let's see here. Nope. I wonder if you can't tighten that too much or there won't be any movement out of your shocks.
looks like these are adjustable as well. You have the little dials there. We'll do that later. Let's get this other tire on, huh? <laughs> 